We've got some big news for NVIDIA GeForce Now fans and they have finally taken the lids off their big announcement that they've been teasing for the past couple of weeks or so. So let's get into some of those upgrades that are coming and some of the increases in prices as well and have a bit of a discussion about that. One of the big takeaways is that there is some big increases in upgrades to the hardware that's been used to power the NVIDIA GeForce Now service and we will be seeing some massive benefits from that, of course, if you pay for those. So they've announced that they're going to be using 3080s to power the service when you get the upgraded part of it and basically they're calling them like 3080 pods and they're going to be low latency graphics cards which will obviously help out with the cloud gaming side of things. So obviously the major benefit is going to be in terms of graphics output. So currently the NVIDIA GeForce Now service is limited to 1080p which has kind of been a complaint from a lot of users especially when you've got the likes of Stadia users being able to get 4k up to 60 frames per second. Now NVIDIA GeForce Now is going to have multiple tiers within that upgraded service so you'll be able to get up to 120 frames per second at 1440p resolution or 60 frames per second at 4k resolution which is a very big boost from their current 1080 so we'll definitely see a, a lot of improvements there. Now these graphics improvements will definitely make the NVIDIA GeForce Now I guess a more appealing service to those of you who are looking to play those games that you've already purchased maybe on Steam or Epic Game Store and be able to run them at those higher resolutions or higher frame rates as well. It definitely has some massive and massive benefits. However it does come at a cost. So they did announce that this is going to be rolling out through America in November and Europe in December. So we do have a little time left to wait so we don't get to go hands on with it just yet and it's going to cost $99.99 for six months so that's a relatively large price jump if you think about it especially when you compare it to where NVIDIA GeForce Now was this time last year in terms of pricing it has obviously had a price jump already and now it'll be getting another price jump if you want this upgraded tier you don't have to pay the $99.99 for the six months you can still stick with the cost you've currently got which means you won't get that 4K or 1440p resolution, so you do miss out on that, unfortunately. So the question I want to throw out there to all of you cloud gamers and anybody who is using NVIDIA GeForce now is, would you be willing to pay like that $200 per year to be able to just use cloud gaming. Now, in my opinion, it's probably not worth it in terms of value for myself. I'm one of the users that uses it mostly on a mobile or my iPad, just to kind of have that mobile gaming to, I guess, really go alongside my PC gaming. And I know when we've done polls with the community and spoken to you a lot about it before, a lot of you seem to be in that same boat. You use cloud gaming, just, just one of those things because you can't necessarily get behind the desk at the time, we can't get your console turned on, so you use it for that which is really handy. I guess who NVIDIA are really focusing this sort of service are at, just those normal gamers who do like to play at a PC, who do like to play on the big screen and they want to get those improved graphics and frames per second. It makes a lot of sense and actually it's a pretty decent value proposition when you look at it that way. Even if it is like that $200 per year, compared to buying a latest graphics card at the moment in terms of those costs or even a graphics card at the normal recommended retail price, it's still a pretty decent value proposition. Combined with the fact you can then play it mobile as well, there's a lot of benefits for it. So again, let us know in the comments, is this something that is going to have a decent value for you? Is it something that you're interested in upgrading to? We'd love to hear whether or not you think it's a worthwhile purchase. At the end of the day, we are really, really excited to see that NVIDIA GeForce Now is getting an upgrade in terms of the graphics and the frames per second. It seems to be one of the big things that people have been asking for and NVIDIA are delivering on that. Moving any of the cloud gaming services forward in terms of upgrades and new features just works out great for this industry at the moment because ultimately it gets more people into cloud gaming, people start to see some of those benefits and when they start to see things like the incredible graphics that can be delivered by these new upgrades, hopefully they'll get more people on board with cloud gaming and it will just grow it completely across the board. So a pretty short and sweet one there for you all. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We're really excited to see how this turns out, what their service runs like, and at the end of the day, being able to buy the games and play my games that I've got on Steam already on the cloud makes a lot of sense to me, especially if I can get some of those awesome graphics and the higher frames per second on my different devices. Hope you've enjoyed that video, and if you have, hit the like button and make sure you drop a comment down below. In the meantime, stay safe and we will see you soon. Bye.